When we think about life on Earth, we usually imagine animals, plants, forests, and humans. But this picture hides almost all of real biology. The true history of life is written on a timescale of billions of years, and on that scale, multicellular life is only a very recent event. The earliest evidence of life on Earth appears around 3.8 to 3.5 billion years ago, preserved as chemical signatures and microbial fossils in ancient rocks. These first living systems were bacteria-like and archaea-like cells, already running metabolism, reproduction, and chemical cycles long before anything large existed, for almost 2 billion years, Earth was a microbial planet. Bacteria and archaea built the atmosphere, controlled the carbon cycle, released oxygen through cyanobacteria, and created the chemical conditions that later life would depend on. During this vast stretch of time, there were no plants, no animals, no fungi, only microscopic cells shaping the entire planet. Eukaryotic cells appear much later, around 1.8 to 2.0 billion years ago, when an archaeal cell merged with a bacterium, giving rise to mitochondria. This single symbiotic event created the entire eukaryotic branch of life, proteists, fungi, plants, and animals. But even after this innovation, most eukaryotes remained single-celled for hundreds of millions of years. True multicellular animals do not appear until about 600 million years ago, just before the Cambrian explosion. Plants and fungi follow a similar late timeline. So when we look at the phylogenetic tree, we are not just seeing relationships, we are seeing time compressed into branches. Bacteria and archaea represent nearly 4 billion years of continuous evolutionary dominance. Animals and plants occupy only the final thin layer of Earth's biological history. This is why multicellular life is only a small branch on the tree of life. Not because it is unimportant, but because life's true foundation was built by microbes, over billions of years, before complex bodies ever existed. Evolution did not move toward animals. Animals emerged very late from a world that had already been alive, stable, and chemically sophisticated for most of Earth's history.